Mm. Wife got this in the mail. She ordered it several weeks ago. You do realize, folks, that the powers that be do not want Bernie to win. He's going to bring rational thinking into our process of running our government and our country. Everybody's been talking about the infrastructure ever since I was a little kid. Nobody's done anything about it. Obama talked about it. Okay? Of course, you know, they, they won't let him do anything. Because they started from the jump. They say, hey, look, we ain't letting this dude do nothing. And now what are they doing? They're trying to obstruct the, the, the Constitution by not letting him appoint a judge? Come on. What is it? I always knew it was different rules for the wealthy and the, and the, uh, and the middle class and then the poor. But to uh, actually say, hey, look, we're not going to do this simply because he's a lame duck and it's our policy as, as senators not to, that's bullshit. Excuse my language, but it's bull. Do your jobs. I think all you guys need to get paid the same kind of money that people that work for a living get paid. Then you would do your jobs. You wouldn't be in such a big hurry to get your jobs back. You wouldn't be keeping running for these jobs if you can get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars and get clout and you get to... Look, folks, we need to elect somebody just as a regular person who's been working at the gra grassroots his whole life. Do your research. Look him up. Google him. Go back and just go back and look at all of the, the stuff that's on the Internet. Not just the stuff that's pro Bernie, but the stuff that's anti Bernie, because there's a bunch of anti Bernie stuff out there. Because, see, Bernie has been talking about equal rights, equal rights for women, blacks, people of color for 30 years. He worked on Jesse Jackson campaign when Jesse Jackson ran for president. For all you young people that are only about 20 years old and don't realize that this is, he was uh, on that line. He was also uh, walked across that, that Pettus Bridge with Martin Luther King. Nobody else can say that. Hillary can't say that. Sure as heck, Trump can't say it. This world is coming into a situation where we have to have somebody with some sense running the government. We can't have some woman who's beholden to everybody. And I'm sorry, you know, I was, I'm all for getting a woman elected president. But I want a woman who's not beholden to anybody, except maybe a, maybe if it was a, a woman who ran, who had five kids and an ex-husband. And, uh, but that'll never happen. Because if you got five kids, you're too busy to try to run some, because you're you running five people's lives. Bernie's doing this simply because it's the right thing to do. What are you going to do? All you people who say, hey, look, you know, I'm all for equal rights or whatever. But I just found out a couple of years, a couple of weeks ago from my wife that the Equal Rights Amendment hadn't passed for women. I thought that had passed for years ago. I joined the ERA when I was in college 40 years ago. And you mean to tell me that they, and I sent them money for years, and they still haven't passed that law? 1965, they passed the, equal, the, the uh, uh, Civil Rights Amendment. But while I lived in Marlton, Arkansas, they didn't like it. Their remedy was to keep postponing it until 2000, to what was that, 1967, I think, when they finally integrated the schools. I went from the seventh grade in an all-black high school to a uh, junior high in Marlton, Arkansas. And you people who've known me for years, you know what I'm talking about. You people who are over 60 years old and are friends of mine, you know what I'm talking about. I just saw something a friend of mine that I hadn't seen in years, James Bradley, posted a picture of, uh, of a letter that was supposed to be on, on the down low between two government officials talking about what they needed blacks for. I mean, come on. <laughs> and this is from, and the letter was from Texarkana. I think it was Texarkana, Texas, except Texarkana, Texas, and Texarkana, Arkansas is the same city. It's just split in half. The Dirty South, folks. They don't want an independent to win simply because the independent isn't beholden to anybody. You know, until I, I understood what a democratic socialist was, I wasn't for socialist, socialism either. But then stop and think about it. What is social security? Hmm? What is taking, uh, what is the infrastructure? Why is it that we can't get our infrastructure fixed? Why is it that out here in Arizona, they build roads well enough so that when they get finished with them, they can start back, start repairing them the very next year? Whatever happened to building something that lasts? Oh, well, yeah, I'm rambling on again. Uh, vote for Bernie Sanders, folks. That's all I got to say.
Now, you people who don't vote for Bernie and you either vote for Trump or and I don't understand if you're a black person or a Hispanic person or a woman, why would you vote for Trump or you vote for Hillary, who's beholden to everybody. OK. But vote, get out and vote. Don't compl- you can't complain about our situation here in the, com- in the country if you don't at least vote. That thing about, well, my vote don't count, that's bull. Every vote counts. Me, my wife, and my wife, one of my wife's granddaughters tried to vote, and we couldn't even vote simply because the paperwork wasn't in- incorrect. The paperwork was incorrect. And they closed down 85% of the places. Thank you. Later.